Hey guys, it's Adam again. I have been playing around with some uh, of Unity's new Shuriken particle effects engine, and they have a lot of cool um, pre-made stuff. And I've been playing around with it to try and create some of my own, some things we can incorporate into the game. On the forums, we were talking about status effects, so I'm wondering just how hard or easy those are to do with um, Unity's. Unity's uh, Shuriken. So I'm going to walk you through just some of the cool things that came in their packages and also some of the things that I added. Um, all of this is now in our game engine so everything that you see here can be pretty easily incorporated into the game. So we'll start off with something simple. Here is an explosion that they have going on. This is about four different particle effects layered on top of each other. Um, creates a pretty cool effect. It's on loop right now so normally um, it would just kind of go bang. You'd see some fire. The fire would clear away and leave the smoke and then those three pieces that you see shoot off in random directions um, would happen. Um, this is just a quick flamethrower thing I threw together. These are pretty big chunky flames. Um, obviously this will need to be touched up. I literally created this flamethrower effect in about 30 seconds. So that gives some um, uh, credence to just how how easy this is to work with. Uh, I went ahead to try some um, layering of effects. So what I did here, there's a unit that has like a line attack that launches some spores. That's going to be one of the Dugarum units. So I thought, hey, why not make it, you know, look, you know, very sci-fi. So there's green smoky sludge stuff underneath of these, like, bright purple spore-looking things. I thought ended up being a pretty cool effect. Obviously, the, um, the green stuff should grow and probably disappear a little bit, uh, kind of a, maybe a fade away. But, uh, again, this is something I put together in probably about 10 minutes just now before recording this. Um, if you look at the status effects, we have like ideas for images and colors and all this stuff. So these green bubbles um, are the idea for poison. So they're pretty big right now, but I'd probably make them smaller just for um, like so they'd be about the same size as the unit. But right now I wanted uh, you guys to be able to see them. So a bunch of green bubbles kind of pop out from nowhere. And um, it's pretty cool stuff. One of the pre-made things in the package is this tornado. Um, it's kind of a just a cool visual effect how the spawning and rotating of um, the particles create that twisting effect and it and it does actually kind of reach up towards the camera so in our isometric view it actually creates a pretty cool effect kinda of like you're actually going over the tornado and it's coming up towards the camera so you got small particles kind of twirl, twirling around, and this would be something um, you know that the Ma the world of Myos is like completely destroyed. So it'd be kind of cool to have effects like these, you know, move around and create havoc on whatever battlefield there is. This is a really cool effect, and it's actually something that I planned on doing. This is again something that's on loop, so you're kind of not seeing it in its natural form. It would usually be like those little splats would be would happen really quickly the more the bigger splats that move out and disappear would happen and then you'd see all these like little dots happen simultaneously that fly out into the air and hit the ground and create these splotches i think i'm probably just going to rip this off of uh unity's examples since they you know pretty much allow that and uh tone it down a little bit and this is going to be our on hit effect so instead of having units react to hits, there's going to be a blood splatter. It's not going to be orange. Um, we'll change it to red, and there won't be gallons of it everywhere, but it gives you the general idea of kind of what I'm thinking. A quick splatter, some you know particle effects on the ground that expand and then fade away. And then last is, uh, this is something else they include, this whole fireworks engine. So what you can see here is how they take... Um, Particles launch it into the air, leaves a trail behind, and then they get to the top and they explode. Uh, because of our camera, you don't get the full effect of this. They kind of explode right in the camera's face. 
so you lose a little bit, but it's creating smoke, it showers down, it changes colors, the colors randomized. I mean, this is this is really cool stuff, and it gives us tons of options and different things we can do. To give you an idea of kind of some of the, the options that it allows us to use, just looking at the fireworks, look at the explosion and you can see that you can create graphs to determine how much um, speed like give it a variable between this is between 2.5 and 3 and if you want to you can actually create line effects so if I wanted to change that it would you know start off creating them between 0 the rotation would start between 0 and 180 and then slowly it would produce nothing but 180s so I don't want to change that right now, but it gives you guys a general idea of kind of the things I've been working on while I've been getting the licensing stuff straight, and that's all in order now. So I'm going to put the particle effect stuff on the back burner, and hopefully we'll be getting to it soon. I'll probably start including it as soon as I get the the attacks uh, finished, so you'll see things like the flamethrower and um, possibly that spore line uh, in effect soon. Um, other than that, uh, let me know if you have any questions.